just when it looked like he was gearing up for a big comeback. Philip Schofield has been firmly slapped back down. The former This Morning presenter isn't even on television anymore. Yet someone, somewhere, seems determined to keep it that way. Even his previous appearances on the box are now being axed. More on that later. Over the last few weeks, the disgraced star has been spotted out and about several times in a bid to clean up his image, laughing with friends and making public displays of happy families. But someone is determined to put him back in his box, by dredging up details surrounding his affair with a young runner, which scandalously hit the headlines last May, almost 10 months ago. Why is it all back in the headlines? Perhaps it's because rather than slope off into obscurity with his tail between his legs, Philip Schofield is still standing. And that, it appears, has really stuck in somebody's craw. Following the recent revelations that he signed a mutual non-disclosure agreement and paid his much younger lover a six-figure sum, it has been revealed that the man, whose life is said to be in tatters, has declined to comment on the deal or any of the details within it. Last year, Philip Schofield's nemesis Eamon Holmes, who is by his own admission, close to the runner via his wife Ruth, who was reportedly in touch with the young man, said in an interview, he was a lovely fella. A really talented fella. He never once talked to us about any relationship, but we knew he was in a bad way. He was in a bad way, fragilely. But then Eamon Holmes added something else which has always stuck in Blinkerhole's mind. On searching for the exact words Eamon used, we found that part of the interview has very nearly been wiped from every news article now available. The omitted segment is when Holmes said of the young man, and we quote, he seemed to go through a lot of money in his life. He needed a lot of money. Really? What could Eamon Holmes mean by that? Is he talking about the six-figure sum? Why did the young man need a lot of money? What a strange thing to say. Why did he seem to go through a lot of money? What was he spending it on? We now know that he was paid a six-figure sum which a source said was allegedly for legal fees. Could it be that the money has now run out? Does the NDA prevent Schofield paying the young man another penny for his silence, or not? Is there a time limit on the agreement or is it lifelong? A quick check on the legalities of non-disclosure agreements reveals that in the UK, it's common for NDAs to last for three to five years, after which time the information can be freely shared with others. Only certain types of information can be kept confidential forever and it is not known how long the NDA between Philip Schofield and the young runner lasts for and it is said to be a mutual agreement. Mutual agreements are used only if both parties are disclosing information. In our opinion, that's odd. Does it mean that it was someone else who wanted both parties to sign an NDA? Recently Eamon Holmes joked that everyone is gagged from talking about it. Could it be that more than one mutual NDA has been signed? Could there be a whole host of people who have been gagged, and do they all work at ITV? A supposed independent investigation into the details surrounding Schofield's affair was undertaken last year, with the results accused of being a whitewash. In our opinion, it would be very difficult to undertake a thorough investigation if everyone had been gagged, wouldn't it? Yet, the constant erasing and gagging of the Schofield scandal continues and it looks like the whole thing has really gotten to ITV bosses. Eagle-eyed viewers have bizarrely noticed that Philip Schofield has even been removed from a special episode of Emmerdale, after it was re-aired on ITV3 last week. Seems rather petty to us. What possible harm could come from leaving him in an old soap opera episode? Could the move signal that there is more damning information about the Schofield scandal about to be unleashed? It would certainly explain the attempt to remove all trace of him. The former This Morning star previously made a cameo in an episode on the long-running soap back in 2005 alongside Fern Britton, where they interviewed the character Alan Turner. But recently, when viewers tuned into a rerun of the episode, they noticed that the episode had been re-edited to remove a majority of Philip's scenes. The move comes just days after it was revealed the former ITV This Morning presenter Schofield and his former ITV runner lover had signed a mutual NDA. In the episode, Philip and Fern appeared as themselves as they interviewed Alan about the disappearance of his then-partner, Shelley Williams. The storyline is of particular interest to Blinkerhole, and seeing as it's been brought to our attention, we decided to delve a little further. The character of Shelley falls in love with Alan Turner, only to face opposition from his daughter Steph. Shelley and Steph later become sworn enemies. Shelley leaves the village for a while but returns to see Alan, much to Steph's annoyance. Angry, Steph pushes Shelley down the cellar stairs, ties her to a chair, and gags her. Yes, you heard correctly, gags her. 
Isn't that an amazing coincidence considering Schofield and his lover's gagging order? We could even go a step further when we remember the restraints allegedly discovered during the Holly Willoughby kidnap plot. We digress. Anyway, then, Shelley goes missing, but later turns up, showing herself to Alan while he is on his own. He is shocked but delighted to see her alive and well. When the police discover Shelley is alive, Steph who had been locked up is released. Steph returns to the village and tries to make amends, but although Alan thinks it's a good idea to give his daughter a chance, Shelley tells him that Steph is evil and can never be forgiven. Shelley decides to leave the village in a taxi. Steph tells Alan that she will track Shelley down for him and convince her to come back. Steph eventually finds Shelley on a ferry, but, as Shelley tries to run away from Steph, a member of the crew sees that Steph has no ticket and they force her to leave the ferry. However, Steph sneaks back onto the ferry and grabs Shelley's arm. While trying to free herself, Shelley slips over the ferry railing and falls into the ocean. She is last seen being swept away in the strong surface waves, screaming for help. Steph, knowing she would be blamed for Shelley's death, throws Shelley's suitcase into the water. Shelley's suitcase is then found off the coast of Scotland. A particular note is that much later in the soap, in 2015, Val Pollard is inspired by Shelley's death when planning to fake her own death to avoid going to prison and persuades her husband Eric Pollard to go along with it. In Philip Schofield's now partially erased episode from 2005, just four years before Queen Bee Holly Willoughby joined him on ITV's This Morning, Alan Turner appears on the show with Philip and Fern to make an emotional plea to Shelley to get in touch if she is watching. Philip wore a pink shirt, though it was recently described as purple by media. Though we are guessing that, different lighting can be the cause of the error. Only Schofield's arm is visible in the scenes, and his face covered by a TV monitor. Several viewers spotted the change, with one writing on X, um, did Philip Schofield just get cut out of classic Emmerdale? Another posted, I wondered how they'd get round having Philip Schofield on. But I'm really impressed with the clever editing. Notice how they cut to the break after Fern asked the first question though. Schofield must have spoken after and they decided best not to show it at all. But, Philip Schofield has made not one, but two appearances on the long-running Yorkshire soap. He also popped up in Emmerdale in 2015 as part of a charity challenge for Tex Santa, where he had a blink and you'll miss him part. The challenge saw Philip appear in every show screened on ITV on a specific day until 10 p.m. In that Emmerdale appearance, he was spotted in the background during a scene in David's shop. These appearances aren't Philip Schofield's only connection with the show. He's actually narrated three documentaries about the soap. These were Emmerdale Christmas Crackers, Emmerdale's Greatest Love Triangles, and Farewell Seth, a tribute to Stan Richards. So, with Philip Schofield's life turning out to be a dramatic soap opera in itself, what on earth will be next, as the scandal rumbles on? Can he come back from this? Will someone throw him a lifeline so he can write the next script? Or, will someone else continue to desperately rub out his lines? We'll have to wait and see. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only. Keep up to date with the latest breaking news and entertainment and hit the subscribe button. If you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. To support us, you can join us or send us a super thanks. Thank you for watching.